All right, what's good, what's good, man? So I wasn't going to make this video, but it has to be said because I've been thinking this for a while. Phoenix, Phoenix Suns, why are you getting into beefs with DeAndre Aynes? Why are you blaming DeAndre Aynes for why you guys suck? Now, before I start this, TRL, I know you're watching. Shout out to TRL. Uh, I think his name, I think his channel's uh, the, I think his name is AZ Report or something like that. He'll probably comment under this video. TRL, before I start this video, this is, I have not, you, I have nothing against your sons. This isn't quote unquote me hating because I know you guys like to listen to Jonah of his stupid ass and think I'm hating and stuff like that. No, I've been thinking this for a while and this is just my opinion. So, Get out of your feelings. This, I have nothing against the Suns. I don't care about the Suns. You guys are on the East. I'm in the West. I'm just doing this because it's. I just want, I'm just doing this for content. But besides that, and that goes for any Suns fan too, by the way. But I just have to say this. So I'm watching ESPN right, and I'm seeing everybody from the Suns players, from Monty Williams, getting mad at DeAndre. And now, granted, I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened. At that game, I don't. I think they were versing OKC. No, they were versing the Wizards, and people are getting mad at DeAndre. Ayton. I'm sorry. What is DeAndre? Ayton? Why is everybody blaming DeAndre Ayton? And this isn't just going back off off of one game. P people forget Deion Monty Williams drilled into DeAndre Ayton after they lost to the, the uh, Dallas Mavericks uh, in the playoffs last year, and I'm thinking to myself. Bro, Monty, you're blaming DeAndre in. Why don't you blame that light-skinned pussy that you got at shooting guard? And why don't you blame the one who's leading him, CP3? And now, I love CP3. I really do. Uh, he he is my favorite play. He's one of my favorite players. I, I think he's underrated. The, the way how Stephen A. Smith and Patrick Beverly went on ESPN and said, is he a Hall of Famer, that no one fears him, that no one cares about CP3? I thought that was absolute BS. I thought it was absolute BS. CP3 is my guy, but he is a choker. He was choking in that series. Devin Booker was choking in that series. And yet, Monty Williams, you're mad at uh, DeAndre Ayton? You're mad at DeAndre Ayton, bro? For what? What are you mad at DeAndre Ayton for? What is out of all out of Devin Booker and CP3? You're mad at DeAndre Ayton? And don't give me this. Well, CP3 is a veteran and DeAndre Bay, uh, not DeAndre Ayton. Devin Booker's the face of the franchise. He can't go after the well, you know what, uh Monty Williams. If you can't go over after CP3 and Devin Booker because you're too scared to lose your job, then you're not a good coach, bro. Because I will look at Devin Booker and say, Hey, Devin. What, you're Kobe, right? You're the quote unquote next Kobe. Where was my mentality game six against Milwaukee? Where was my mentality game seven against uh the Mavericks? Where's this? And I get I I, I think Devin Booker is actually doing pretty good this this regular season. But clearly, it's not Devin Booker is averaging 50 points. He's doing all this crazy stuff. He's posting on Twitter, or whatever. Oh, I'm not in the MVP conversation. Dude, you're not in the MVP conversation because you're you're not you're not doing anything MVP worthy. You're not doing anything MVP worthy. Your team is losing. And CP3, bro, it might be time to hang it up or come off the bench because I don't even is CP3 even back. Yeah, he is back, but he's always getting injured. He's not contributing to anything. But yet, Monty Williams is blaming DeAndre Ayton. He blamed DeAndre Ayton for why they lost to the Mavericks. He's going at DeAndre Ayton on the sidelines. Players on the team are going at DeAndre Ayton. And I'm looking at the stats right now against the Wizards. He averaged 30. He had 30 against the Wizards. He came, he literally came back. Uh, so against the Rockets, he had five points. I'm assuming that's the game he got injured. And then game against the Clippers and Pelicans, he didn't play. He comes back against the Lakers, has 21, uh, 11 rebounds, one block. This game against the Wizards, 30 points, 60% from the field. And against the Lakers, he had 80, uh, he had 82. And then uh rebounds 13, one block. DeAndre Ayton's not the problem. And I'm looking at his stats right now for 2023. He's averaging 17, 18 points, 10, 10 rebounds, 9, 10 rebounds. He's not the problem. But yet, for some reason, he's the scapegoat in uh for the Suns. 
DeAndre, bro, get out of Phoenix, bro. Get out of Phoenix. Now, granted, I don't know who wants you, but at the same time, bro, it's like someone out there needs a center. Someone out there needs. A, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know. Going. I'm pretty sure Luca wouldn't mind having uh DeAndre Ayton, a guy who can uh get uh. 17, 18 points, 9, 10 rebounds. I'm trying to think who else uh, is a contender. I don't know who else is a contender, but there's a there's probably someone out there who would take DeAndre Ayton. Didn't the Indiana Pacers want him? I'm pretty sure they wouldn't mind getting him. DeAndre, get out of Phoenix because for some reason, Devin Booker, not Devin Booker, Monty Williams is blaming you. Monty Williams is blaming you. Instead of holding these two on my screen accountable, he's blaming you. You're the scapegoat. And honestly, DeAndre, I got to hold you accountable too. He 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 chewed you out for the Mavericks series, but Devin Booker and CP3, they're over here disappearing like they're magicians, but yet you got chewed out, DeAndre, Ian, by uh, Monty Williams. DeAndre, you should have left. You should have went to Indiana or you should have went somewhere else, but... You need to get out now. The trade deadline's coming up. Demand a trade. If not, then, hey, it is what it is. But stop making, for Phoenix Suns fans, stop making DeAndre in the uh, scapegoat. Hold Devin Booker accountable. Hold Devin Booker accountable, bro. I don't know what your record is. As a matter of fact, let's look up your record right now, actually. Let's look up the Suns record right now. Because I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're, like, top three. I don't know. You guys are nine, 19 and 13. Well, where do you got? Where are you guys in the standing? You guys are fourth. I mean, so so what are you guys chewing out DeAndre Ayton for? Like, I'm just seeing Monty Williams and your team chew out DeAndre Ayton. I'm like, for what? And I also, I thought it was BS how he chewed him out uh, for the game against the Mavericks, the game seven against the Mavericks when CP3 and uh, Chris Paul were disappearing. DeAndre, get out. Monty Williams, be a coach and chew out Devin Booker and CP3. All right, but it is what it is. That's my thoughts. What are yours? RJ out.